Deputies say it happened yesterday at Liberty High School. New Six's Mark Lehman has been following the latest on this story and joins us live with more on what he's learned from the sheriff. Mark. Yeah, the main point the sheriff wanted to get across is that his office has zero tolerance for any use of excessive force. And because of that, he's now ordering a state criminal investigation into the conduct of one of his deputies. Something coming after video of yesterday's encounter surfaced online, which some may find disturbing. Now, in the short clip, it shows a Deputy Ethan Fournier slamming a female student onto the concrete at Liberty High School. The tenured deputy is then seen placing the girl in handcuffs as she remains motionless on the ground. All of this happened as another deputy stands close by. Well, today, Sheriff Marcos Lopez addressed the encounter, saying it happened after the teen was trying to fight another student in the hallway. Regardless of the situation, though, Lopez says there needs to be transparency to determine if Deputy Fournier's actions were excessive. For that reason, the investigation is now being handed over to the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. They're going to conduct a criminal investigation. They're the ones that are going to review any type of evidence or any type of videos that are out there. We want to make sure it's a complete, thorough investigation without my influence in this case. Now, since yesterday, there have also been many questions about the girl's injuries. Now, the sheriff wouldn't go into specifics, but said she is OK. Deputy Fournier also uh, suffered minor injuries. He is now on paid administrative leave as the FDLE looks into what happened. But today, we also asked about the other deputy who was seen in that video, and the sheriff's office says that deputy at this point is not under investigation. For now, reporting live in Osceola County, Mark Lehman, getting results, News 6. Mark, thank you.